Hi guys, it's Anais from Radio King. Today we're going to be looking at your radio station statistics to help you figure out what they actually mean. Let's start by heading over to the statistics tab which contains all the information you need about your listeners. As you can see when we click on the main tab here, multiple sub-tabs appear. Let's start with the first one at the moment. Here you can see how many people are listening to your radio in real time and where they are in the world. The map displays the approximate location of your listeners and if multiple people are listening to your station from one location, then it will appear in blue with a small number on it. So this is interesting because it will help you tailor your content to the areas where you're being listened to. It may also be of interest to any potential partners that reach out to you. To the left of the map you can see the IP address and current listening time of each listener as well as their player type. Let's move on to the unique listeners tab. Unique listeners refers to the number of different people who have listened to your radio station. In reality, it's more a question of the IP address, as several people can listen to your radio station from the same address. In this case, only one listener is counted. So it's important to distinguish this number and the number of sessions, which takes into account if the same listener listens to your radio station multiple times. But we'll see that in the next tab. The table at the top of the screen gives you an overview of your unique listeners over the last 60 days. So this can help you see if you're actually losing listeners as the weeks go by. If that's the case, then you need to dig a little deeper and find out why people aren't tuning in. It could be due to your audio quality or maybe a lack of diversity in your programming for example. It's up to you to investigate. If the charts show that your listening is improving then that means you're on the right track so keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Be present on social media as well and continue to offer your listeners a wide range of programming. You might even want to consider giving them additional features such as a radio mobile app for example. Anyway let's get back to the unique listeners tab. Here you can choose if you want to display your data by day, week or month. Obviously, the smaller the time period, the more detailed the data analysis. There's also a graph accompanied by a table here at the bottom, which allows you to easily browse through each iteration and analyze trends. All of this can be exported in CSV format. Let's move on to the sessions tab. So here we can find the same interface as before, but just with different data. As I was saying earlier, if a single listener listens to your radio station a hundred times, then the hundred listening sessions will be counted and not just one single listener. So why choose to analyze sessions rather than unique listeners? The number of listeners will help you understand the size of your audience, whereas the number of sessions will help you understand your radio's performance. So it'll be super interesting for you to see how these numbers evolve over time. It's also interesting in relation to your unique listeners. If you have more sessions than unique listeners, then this shows that people are attached to your radio, seeing as each listener is tuning in multiple times. On the other hand, if your number of sessions is close to your number of listeners, and this means that you're doing a really good job of getting the word out about your radio station. But it also kind of shows a weak retention, so you'll need to be wary of that as well. Let's move on to session duration. So here you can see all the information relating to the duration of your listening sessions, whether in total or average duration. The total duration is interesting to look at since it combines both the number of listeners and the listening volume. It basically sums up the session duration of each listener. So this means that the more listeners there are, the more it will increase. The average time doesn't really give you information about the listening volume but more on the duration of people's listening sessions. If I scroll down, you can see the distribution of listening sessions throughout the day, as well as the duration. So the distribution of listening sessions will help you understand when your audience is exposed to your content. So here we can see, for example, that 30% of people are tuning in the afternoon from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., 29 in the morning from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. The numbers go down a little bit as we get through the day with 23% at nighttime, and then 18% in the evening. So the duration of listening sessions will allow you to dive a little deeper than the average duration that we saw just before, because it will allow you to really analyze each individual time slot. So here we can see that roughly a quarter of our listeners are gonna stay tuned between 30 seconds to two minutes. But if we add it all up, then over half of our listeners are tuning in for up to 15 minutes max, which is actually pretty normal. Okay, so let's head over to the location tab now. So here the map goes a little bit further than the live map that we saw at the beginning in the at the moment tab, since the information that we have here is given over a period of time and not in real time. So you'll find all the information in the table below. The location of your listeners is always a really, really interesting statistic to look at. 
Um, if your radio has an audience abroad, for example, then you can tailor your content to that public. So if your goal is, for example, to expand your audience in the US, then this could be really a great ally to help you do that. The Sources tab allows you to see from which device people are listening to your radio station. So whether they listen from a mobile or tablet, a desktop computer, connected speaker, connected cars, etc. The last tab is the Music tab, which will allow you to see the titles that people like or dislike, um, which they can vote for via your radio player or your mobile app if you have one. So this information is going to be really useful for uh, music format radio stations. But in order for this data to be reliable, then you'll need to really collect a lot of votes and encourage your listeners to use that function so that you can better understand their taste. It could help you see which genre to orient your programming towards, for example, or if there's a genre that is less appreciated by your audience. As I said, don't jump to conclusions because one or two votes for a track isn't enough. You'll need more information than that in order to draw relevant conclusions. And that's it. So we've covered all of the statistics that are available in your radio manager. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you now understand how to better interpret them as well in order to adapt your content and make sure that your listeners are coming back for more. You'll find a bunch of other tutorials in our help center, so don't hesitate to have a look at that. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss our next videos and follow us on social media for more tips and tricks. Happy broadcasting and see you next time.